You're in my house. Good choice. Although I guess it's technically Sansa's house too. But I prefer not to discuss his part of it. His room is like another world. A world where they don't know how to vacuum. You're best staying away from that strange place. Snowden, home of Papyrus. Now that's the slogan, right? I'm petitioning to change the slogan. This is where I tried to capture you. What a terrible memory. I love the library. The books are all arranged by color. A sense of order, it fills me with power. Well, what's a library card? <laughs> Silly papyrus. That furry person throws ice all day. Nobody knows where it goes. Hypnotizing, isn't it? Eh, just a little bit. There's no response. And Grillby's. It's dark and full of grease. Purgatory of fries, hamburger abyss. Anyway, my brother practically lives here. I'm not coming to Grillby's. Monster Kid's not there. The inn's a great place to stay. The lady who runs it is really nice. She always gives me a lollipop and a pat on the head. Why are you calling me? Are you trying to make a reservation? This bridge looks dangerous, but it's very stable. In fact, it's just a rock formation I painted over. I think it looks more dramatic that way. So yes. The, uh, very unsafe looking bridge is actually a rock. I added the rope, too. <laughs> oh, Papyrus. You silly butt. Ah, yes. In addition to monsters, or not monsters, in addition to calling Papyrus, some monsters will also show up after you beat the boss of an area. Papyrus is the boss of Snowden? So there are monsters about. We all live in the woods, so no one can tell us what to do. But now everyone ignores us. I don't want freedom if it means no one's gonna pay attention to me. <sighs> the Station of Greater Dog. He looks a bit like a certain dog I don't like. But a greater dog doesn't collect anything. He's only a kleptomaniac for a fiction. Yeah, I noticed. He's amassed a large collection of hugs and pets. Aww. It must be bigger on the inside. <laughs> I always jump over the gap instead of solving the puzzle. Sans never solves it either. He always just, um, gets across. Yeah, I've noticed he does that. Gift Trot lives near there. They like gifts. Don't worry if you can't afford something nice. It's the help that counts. So imagine you have a lot of money. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Did you meet Gift Trot? Not yet. Let's talk to him. I've heard there's a local tradition based off of my own suffering. Oh, Gift Trot. My signal is getting weak. Looks like the phone won't work past here. So there's no reason to go further. Uh, why would your signal be getting weaker? You're not here. Anyway. Hello. <laughs> so in here. No response. Hello, other ice cap. Everyone's wearing hats. I should branch into a or should I branch into a different item? I should jorts? 
Doesn't have the same ring to it. Uh, yeah, sure. We were getting bored waiting for you, so I built a snow papyrus, and Sans did his thing. Actually, it's one of his better lumps. <laughs> ah, Sans. The station of lesser dog. This dog loves to be pet. That's his defining personality trait. Oh, wait, why are they a royal guard and not me? I love to be pet too. <sighs> it's all just a popular popularity contest. Puns. Why game? Why? Oh ho! The puzzles that Dr. Elphis made. I had to ask Undyne to ask her to make one. I only follow her online. I'm not really friends with her. Yet. Someday I'll impress her with my huge biceps. That's a good way to make friends. Sure it is, Papyrus. Sure it is. Oh ho! This puzzle! You figured it out so easily. That was very papyrus of you. Talking on the phone, how papyrus of you? Ah, papyrus, oh hello. It's a snow, or yeah, it's a snow drake. Did I ever come across one of these? I think I came across one. <laughs> Us teens live uh, self-sufficiently off the fat of the land. Oh, and the box of lunches my parents bring us every day. Huh. Hmm, uh, the solution to this one... I actually just stepped over the spikes. So the solution is to be very tall and handsome. I'm solving it as we speak. Aww. Dumb butt. Alright. This room is normally blocked by those spikes, but we're thinking of getting rid of them. The king re released a mandate on puzzles recently. He thinks spikes are ineffective and hazardous to kids, but I think he's wrong. Kids love deadly spikes. If you know any kids, you should ask them. Uh, pretty sure I'm a kid. Another ice cap here. Hey, stop thinking about my hat. You aren't thinking about my hat? Can you please? <laughs> ah, the spaghetti trap room. Well, I guess it's not much of a trap anymore, since you ate the whole thing, right? Nothing like a hot bucket of spaghetti. Okay. Hmm, crossword. I guess it's an apt name. Those words make me cross. Are you still looking at that word search? <laughs> the famous Snowden Snowball Game. Faster completion gives different prizes. Where does the money come from? The snowball tax, of course. What? You've never heard of a snowball tax? And the surface world must be paradise. Another snow drake. <laughs> Us teens rule these woods with a similar... <laughs> With a smaller than adult fist. Uh, I failed to do my own stupid voice. The station of the married dogs. Hmm. Do you ever think about doing that someday? Marrying a dog? Nah, that's weird. There are way better animals to marry, like skeletons. Oh ho! The electric maze! That sure was fun! Except for when I got shocked. Disappointing, but I turned off the electricity. 
careful. Uh, the ice is slippery, but if you slide on the ice, no one will attack you. No one wants to prat fall during a cool technique. I'm cold out of things to say. It must be tough being a snowman. Try to be nice to people made of strange materials. Is that snowman still there? The Station of Doggo. He has the amazing power to see things when they move. Okay, maybe it's not an amazing power. Doggo's not home. Yeah, impressed. Not only am I great at puzzles, but I'm also an esteemed architect. My brother helped me find the box. Oh, and we have another snow drake. I ran away from home. Why? Because my father was so cold to me. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. Buns. What? Are you lost? Hmm. You should try calling someone for help. Huh? Why are you calling me? too cold to swim in the river, unless you have a waterproof sweater. It's just a river. This is where my brother is supposed to patrol, but every time I show up, he's slacking off. It's a good thing I spotted you first. I'm sure he would have made a weird first impression. <laughs> that he did, Papyrus. That he did. If he's not around, he won't come back. That's just the way he functions. Hmm, the strange door in the woods. Actually, my brother spends a lot of time here. What's he doing? I've got to keep him on the straight and narrow. Are you still around that door? No, no, my brother's a bad influence. And that would be every phone call for Papyrus in Snowden. At least as far, or rather up to the point that I have been. So, I suppose next time it's actually carrying on with the plot. I think he has a shortcut or something. Also, failed to show this last time. Sometimes... When you slide through this, the snow that piles up on your head will uh, take on a funny shape. I've seen like a little house, a kiwi bird, I think I saw a tombstone once, which was rather grim, but oh well. So that's that.